Ping to day. It's so rare. <laughs> and some of you new people get a chance to meet one of my long-term students. How long have you been working with me now, Karen? At least, oh gosh, I don't know, 2019, 18, something like that. Been a while. Yeah. But mental health, 2020, probably. Yeah. yeah, two years. So it sounds about right. Yeah. Well, you. Do you want to ask um, Raziel anything today? Um, you told me way back, one of the very first readings I had, that I tend to incarnate at times of government oppression, which clearly I've picked a nice one this time around. Me too. <laughs> yeah, so why, why do we do this? <laughs> and what should we be doing about it? <laughs> He says, um, there are particular soul families, many of you will come in unique points of time when if you don't come in with your light and if you don't anchor your unique consciousness as a soul family, um, many horrendous things would occur, such as nuclear disaster. And it takes your unique love light consciousness to lift the veil properly without people losing their minds. I'm sure I understand, but okay. I'll have to listen to that again. He says, each soul family, when they meet each other, begin to activate each other and to help each other grow. Each member of the soul family will do that, one for another. When you begin to meet each other, you will recognize that there are commonalities in your contracts and in your purposes. Okay. For this unique soul contract that are coming in during times of extreme governmental turmoil, there could be unique reasons based upon your soul family. And in this soul family, who are all here today, perhaps it has to do with the utilization of discernment and the knowledge that power can never be taken. Your unique love light consciousness has to be in place with all of you in alignment in your works and contracts so that that can happen. Otherwise, horrendous things would have happened, and thankfully, they will not. When you think you're not making a difference here, the angels say, think again. You, all of you in this soul family, have prevented an entire nuclear disaster. Congratulations. That was your purpose. Perhaps now you can prevent it again by continuing your work on this planet, continuing the teachings and anchoring the love light of these teachings that arise from your unique consciousness in this soul family. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. That helps. Good. Bye. Yeah, it's, it's such a big deal. And, and he says, we tend to get lost in the mire of day-to-day -day consciousness of the things that we're doing but we wouldn't even have the freedom or privilege to do those things. We would be a completely communist world and it would also be a barren world where nothing would grow if it were not for this unique consciousness. So when you think that your tiny little life on this planet has not made a difference, we in this unique angelic order wish for you to think twice about that and to remember the truth Maria, sure, we'd love to see you. 